In Canada's early history, most seniors depended on their savings or families for retirement income. To ensure Canadians had a basic financial foundation for their retirement, the federal government introduced the Canada Pension Plan, or CPP, in 1966 as a mandatory savings plan financed by employer and employee contributions. At that time, all benefits depended exclusively on current contributions. This model worked well when there was 6.5 workers for every retiree, and lifespans were such that the typical career was longer than a contributor's retirement. But by the mid-1990s, it was clear change was needed, as a dwindling Canadian labour force struggled to support an ageing population. This problem was only getting worse. Projections indicated the ratio of workers to retirees would shrink further and Canadians would live even longer. Without changes, the CPP would run out of money. To ensure it would be there for future generations, the federal government and provinces agreed to substantial reforms. They increased contribution rates and created an independent investment manager that was accountable to government and the public, called the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, or CPPIB, to generate long-term investment income to help pay benefits. CPPIB diversifies, first amongst the type of assets it invests in, which include public and private equities, bonds, infrastructure and real estate, to enhance potential returns and reduce overall risk. With Canada only representing approximately 2.1% of the global economy, CPPIB invests in countries around the world to benefit from global growth and to reduce the fund's dependence on returns from any one country, currency or region. And most importantly, CPPIB looks at investment opportunities over decades instead of quarters. This long-term focus means the fund will lose money in certain years, but will increase in value over multiple generations. This opens the door to a wider variety of investment opportunities. CPPIB has built a global network to access these opportunities, with offices and personnel on the ground around the world.